chai for me today doesn't mean you're going to take over my channel. Hey, 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 hey. Just because you make chai for me today doesn't mean you're going to take over my channel. Shouldn't that depend on how good her bubble tea is? Uh, we'll see. Let them be the judge. Cool, works for me. Wali chai. So what we're gonna do is first we are going to put milk which is uh, filled up to the brim and we're gonna start this. So the induction gas thing is at 3 so I'm gonna pour this whole thing inside. So when we finally make the tea it's gonna reduce a bit and that is what we are looking for so that we know that the tea has become dense and has you know absorbed all the flavors from the tea leaves and ginger. So we put the milk now. I'm gonna add one whole spoon of uh, white sugar into this there it goes and followed by that I'm just gonna add these are Indian tea leaves uh, the brand I am using is called red label brand you can use any other Indian tea leaf brand so I'm just gonna take half of this uh, half of the spoon I'm gonna put it inside and then as soon as the milk starts boiling a bit we are going to grate our ginger inside because if we do it before uh, the boil will uh, the milk will split the milk is boiling a bit we'll add our ginger so this much is the amount of ginger i've taken and i'm gonna grate it into the tea I'm not adding all of it, I'll just leave this much of it aside because I think it's gonna be too much and it'll make the tea too spicy. So the next thing we're gonna add is cardamom, one clove of cardamom. Just break it with my hand, I'm gonna add this into the tea. So this is gonna give it a very aromatic flavor. So now that we've added this, we're gonna just give it a stir. And we're gonna wait for it to boil. So we are looking for this kind of color. So once you get this color, we are gonna boil it for more for about one or two minutes more, unless till the time this boils up and we can uh, really see the bubbles. And then we're gonna strain this. So this is how we need our tea. So once we've got to this stage, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take it off the gas. These kind of cloths are usually used by the tea stalls in India. So they strain the tea with the cloth. So this is gonna add a bit of Mumbai touch, Mumbai street touch to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this and I'm gonna put two fingers inside so that this goes inside. And it's gonna stay for on its own. We're gonna give it a little shake to our tea and we're gonna pour it. Okay. And we just hold everything, this, we just gonna hold this together and just press this while making the small ball and just twist it a bit at the corner of the cup so that we can squeeze all the tea from the tea leaves because it's hot of course otherwise we could do it with our hands. So this is done. We have our tea leaves, ginger, cardamom, everything inside. So we've strained our tea and it's done. Now it's time to make bubble tea. First, we need to cook the tapioca bowls, which takes five minutes. But before that, don't forget to prepare a pot of hot water. After the tapioca pearls flow onto the surface, Give it a stir and cook for another 3 minutes. Afterwards, pour them all into cold water to cool them down. Boil another pot of water and add brown sugar in it. 
finally mix it with all the tapioca pearls. Today, in order to make the bubble tea, we are using this tea and it's called Iron Buddha tea. It's really interesting, the, the English name of it, but I think the reason why I picked this is because it got really different flavor other than the pure like uh, black tea or green tea like kind of bitterness. It doesn't have that, so that's why I, I choose this tea. As you can see, we already pre-cooked those bubbles and I put it into brown sugar in order to give it some sweetness. And it's really easy to make bubble tea. You just basically need boiled water and you put the tea bag in. This is honestly my first time doing this in a pot. Like I usually don't prepare that much. So maybe I, we will put three tea bags. Boil everything. What we need to do just add it all together. The first step is to put the bubbles into the glass. Personally, I really love bubbles, so I'll put more. And honestly, this is the first time I see those colorful bubbles. Usually it's either white bubbles or black bubbles, but I can find the best one here in our Asian market. So I just choose this rainbow bubbles. Hopefully it's gonna be good. After this, I'll pour the Iron Buddha tea. I really like the smell of this tea. And the milk. <laughs> why, are you, why, why are you laughing? Okay. And we are done. college for like three years when I was doing my bachelor's mm -hmm. I used to have tea with one of my friends and we used to go to this stall which was on the road which we call as Tapri mm -hmm. so we call him Tapri like Chai Ki Tapri what does that mean? means tea stall where you go oh, have okay. tea and chit chat with you know mm -hmm. people okay so I really loved that because you know it was early in the morning and you know while we were having tea it just felt like you know life took a pause and we could just experience that that moment in itself and you know we could talk about things and and just be in that moment because you know the life in Mumbai is very fast mm -hmm. so you know that that chai time that tea break you know really helps you calm down and you know just yeah. brings a little pause to life so I think yeah, that's good yeah, that's the experience I have that's really what about you? Your idea of having tea being like more seren serenity, like that kind of serenity yes, you yes, have, peace and it's calm. actually really different from the usual time that when we are having tea in Taiwan. Because oh. we have a lot of tea shops, mm -hmm. and usually people will just go and grab the tea. Like just like coffee. Yeah, right? grab and go. You, okay. you get it, and you mm -hmm. will have it under. Um, everywhere you go, if you are shopping, mm -hmm. window shopping, or you just, you know, after school, after uh, work, you just go buy one and you drink it while you're watching TV or something. Okay. Yeah, it's not like that much of um, peace that you mm -hmm. will enjoy. Right. Yeah. But surely you can do that. We still have little, those kind of like tea house that okay. you can go with your your best friends and you just chit chat there. Yeah. yeah it's the same kind of yeah, just a get together thing. Yeah. Something. Yeah, that okay. That's interesting. I don't know how these chocolate puffs. Yeah, and we've already finished half of it <laughs> while yeah. shooting the video. <laughs> this is a Taiwanese snack, the chocolate puff. It's really good, really delicious. Yeah. So it's chocolate. It, ha it has to be good. <laughs> Do I not like chocolate that much? Chocolate. Yeah. So. As for the question like who's who's bubble mm -hmm. tea? No, whose tea who's is the tea? best? I think mine is the best. Of course. Yeah, I like yours, but I would say mine. Oh, mine <laughs> is the best. It takes less time as well. Oh, right, but yeah, you only got the advantage 
considering the time you prepare it. But you know, texture is another you know, oh. thing. <laughs> Smart, she's texture. using my point. Smart, <laughs> smart, very smart. So, well, you know what? Let mm -hmm. them decide whose tea is the best. Okay. So, guys, leave your comments in the session below and let us know whose yeah. tea is the best. And let us yes, know who no. wins. Yeah. You know? And then you'll be the judge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But don't forget to you oh, know, yeah. hit the like button and sus subscribe to the channel. And share it if you like it. Bye. Bye.